But if you're praying five times, if you are praying five times, then you, then you and I also have a tendency. And I got time. Zuhr is for a couple of hours more. I got time. You know? And then, uh, like five minutes before Asr, oh man, okay, okay, okay. And then you do a hit and run salat. <laughs> you hit the ground and you run a couple of times. You know, such that. That's the hit and, hit and run salat. Like the subhanahu rabbi ala ala. You know? <laughs> and you do the cardiovascular and you move on. You know? That there's, the, there's those of you. There are those of you that are just chilling, sitting there talking at the restaurant or whatever. Maghrib came in. No, no, sky still looks blue. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. You keep putting it off. You know? There's that tendency. There's those of you that haven't prayed Isha at its normal time for a very, very long time. And today, because you were at the masjid, you were kind of forced to pray it. But otherwise, it's like 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. You know? There's, there's, it's a very real problem. Allah says people, who Allah describes as people who pray are not people like this. They are people who are constant in their prayers. In other words, you, your life revolves around salat. Salat does not revolve around your life. Everything else has to revolve around salat. You know, you ever seen pillars in a building? You ever seen pillars in a building? Can you move the pillars? No, you have to go around them. If you want to put furniture, set something up, you cannot move the pillars. Because if you try to mess with the pillar, what happens? Entire building collapses. The five prayers are the pillars of our, of our, of our day. You can't move around them. You can't move them around. You have to keep them where they are. And if not, then the foundation of your faith, the building of your faith is ready to collapse. You gotta keep them in their place. And so the advice Allah is giving to the people, or the, describing the people of real salat, first quality, they are constant with their prayer, which means they have a very set, precise, methodical schedule for their salats. And this is a, and you've heard importance of salat lectures before. I'm sure of it. I'm just trying to be real here, guys. Especially the young brothers here. I'm telling you, you will, if you want, if you have any love for Islam, and you want to do something for Allah, you want to do something for this deen, and you have aspirations to learn more about this deen, and serve this deen more, then let me tell you, all of your aspirations are fake, and they're ingenuine, until you have the urgent desire to want to pray Fajr at the Masjid, and Isha at the Masjid, and if that is not your concern, and you don't even feel bad about doing that, then you, have, you really don't have a genuine concern for Islam itself. Because if you want to serve Islam, then you have to first be re- qualified to serve Islam, and yet that won't happen until your Iman is in a certain place, and then Iman will not be in its place until Salat, especially Fajr and Isha, are constants for you.